just have you play? So we're here for the final day one of the 500 hour, 5 million guaranteed shit fucking let's go degen fucking zoo. It's nice to feel prepared for once, even though I'm always scrambling and never prepared. What's going on? Oh, there's smiles, there's look. Two and two, maybe not even, and zero abandoned kids, first table, one and a half over under, anyway. It's the best we've seen, they're smiling, they're laughing, they're happy to be here. So either a dude's schizophrenic or he's just on the phone the entire time talking in Chinese or something. The pace of play rating at my table is F. We're trying to stay calm. It's not the dealer's fault. Dealers are doing what they do. Everyone's playing like it's the fucking final table. Just click a button, you dickbags. First major hand is at 300, 600 with a 600 big blind ante. Under the gun opens to 1600, plus one calls, and we're in the big blind with 6-5 off, and we call. Maybe questionable defend, but, you know, whatever. It's live poker, we could outplay them, we presume. Flop comes 4-7-4, four, four, rainbow. High check, under the gun checks, plus one, bets 3k. We raise to 8k, because if I want to have check raises multi, I want to be able to raise my fours, obviously. Under the gun folds, and then plus one jams for 30k. So to win a pot of around 63k, I'm paying 22k. Okay, more. I'm like, yeah, this isn't quite the right odds, but YOLO. Fuck it. I mean, it's very corny. I don't really say YOLO in my real life, but um, she has aces, but we get there on the turn with an eight, and I don't know what the river was. It wasn't an ace. So we end up with 95k, two times starting stack, a few levels in. So update on the WSOP Vlogger POI and go to WSOP Vlogger POI.com. See the sick updates. d Negs is leading because he had me in his vlog, which is kind of cheating. You know what I mean? He also appeared in mine, but that's not, that hasn't come out yet. Rampage is around there somewhere, but he's just been bitching on Twitter. If you're not here at the 500 housewarming opening and you're able to play it, you're honestly a piece of shit. So d Negs number one, me number two, but kind of cheating. Back from break, we didn't pee, we didn't eat. All we did was sit on the wall and talk to people. We talked to our mush, our Katie. No other really hands to report on. It's now 1.30 p.m. The blinds are 500, 1K. We didn't pee on the first break, and all we've eaten today is Oreos, but we are playing like a god. Here's a wacky hand you might enjoy at home. The blinds at 600, 1200 with a 1200 big blind ante, off of our stack of 120K at this point. We have pocket sevens under the gun, plus one. We raise to 2,500. We get four callers. We're five ways to a flop. It comes 10, three, deuce, rainbow, again, June. Shout out to Gay Pride. N not sarcastically. It checks around. All five of us agree to check around on 10, three, deuce, rainbow. The turn is a nine. I don't know why. We decide to bet 3K. They all call. And I was like, I should have known better in you group of people. The river comes another nine. So it ends up being 10, three, deuce, nine, nine. We have pocket sevens, five ways. Everyone checks and somehow we win. And that felt like oh, a huge victory, even though it was just luck. Oh my God, I value bet four people with an under pair. That's crazy. That's the most proud of luck I'll ever be. So there's apparently people waiting to play a 2 p.m. deep stack. I don't care what the buy-in is. You need to, they, if they play a poker tournament, they need to be willing to do crime to get in this 500. 96.59. They gotta find a way to get in there. I have no respect for any of the 2 p.m. deep stack people. And, and I don't care if they could say I make minimum wage. Crime, 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 crime. You must be in this. If we keep doubling every break, if we have double the last break, we'll fucking win probably. So the tournament's going fine. A big thing that, that's coming to realize here, difference from the Rio, is that the drug use area is more a proper drug use area. It used to just be a ramp out back, right? The Bally side's a little not as good, but this is Paris. Half of these guys might not even be in the tournament, honestly, I don't know. It's so cool that they make us walk through this in the Rio. Pull up and go to the poker area. Here they have to have them go through all this temptation, cinnamon buns, horse play, this, that, and what have you. Can't have it. You gotta have blinders. Somebody makes some WSOP 2020 rest of time while the blinders for a six. Six. It's like a fight for survival to get food. I'm about to offer this kid ten dollars for his crust. Huh? How much for the crust? Are you uh, Ryan the Paul? Uh, yeah. Does it free, <laughs> is it is it free in yeah, that it's case? Free. No, it's free. I don't know. You can take it. I've been eating all day. It's so, it's so dumb of me. <laughs> Even though the blinds are ramping, try not to tilt when things when pace play gets mad slow and you got to stay patient not uh tilt that so this, this is quite a bit later in the day we're nearing the afternoon um blinds are now 1k 2500 with the 2500 big blind annie we have about 200k in our stack now effective and we have pocket fours in the cutoff at a brand new table we just sat down at with pocket fours we raised from the cutoff to 5k button calls and we're heads up to a flop in the pot is 16k flop comes two three four rainbow I check and he checks back. Turn is an eight. We bet 6,500 into the pot of 16K. Button calls. 
Now there's 29k in the pot on the river. Now the river comes a jack. We're not really sure how to handle it. If we check, will he bluff with ace highs that missed? I don't think he would. So I think that we have to, because I assume that when he floats or checks back on the flop that he has a lot of ace highs on this board, two, three, four. So, but anyway, we decided to go ahead and just bet. We bet 20k and he raises to like 45k. We call, and at the time I thought he had ace high, but I guess he had ace jack, according to my notes, which are to not to be trusted. Uh, I think he might have just been bluffing with ace 10 or some shit. Like, like when you just call when you have ace x. He called me with ace high. I mean, raised me with ace high. I mean, it's 9 a.m. and I've been playing poker for 80 hours straight and I'm a fucking zombie. Sorry for the voiceover quality. 20 minutes left in the last level of entry of the last stab of the last flight of the last D-Gen dream for this lottery ticket shit fest. That is amazing. I don't mean to call it a shit fest. We're at a new table. This looks like, honestly, it has a lot of abandoned kids potentially. The highest we've seen is seven estimate, maybe like six. They're probably skill level for this tournament, three out of 10. We'll update if we're correct. No, I don't fucking know. All right, so it's the end of uh, re-entry, right? If the, even if this were just a one-day tournament, this would be a sick fucking sick quest. Ten-handed is not good, but this is the price we pay. A small price for fucking mm -hmm. for this for this amazingness. Shut it up, torch, and fold if old men raise. So we have pocket queens in a pot where we raise from middle position at 4k big blind, whatever. We end up four ways to a flop, but really one of them's all in for less, doesn't really matter. Um, flop comes jack 10, 8, check, check, we bet 13k, one guy calls, turn 4, river king. There's this 60k pot we win at showdown somehow. Very great. We keep getting lucky. We have aces all in pre-flop against this dude's eights. He was all in. We would never have risk. 320k in our stack now. Day continues to go well. Blind versus blind against a guy with a motorcycle type beard who was cool as fuck. Anyway, he min raises from the small blind. We're in the big blind with queen nine off. He has about 11 big blinds. We jam. He calls with ace seven. We suck out. Have to get hit the nine. End up with 425k at dinner break. Which is a lot of chips. We're coming back to a 6k big blind. Another hold. Another hold. Ooh, we are fucking unstoppable today! No disrespect, sir! I think we pulled it. Every break, having double the previous break, somehow with the miracle flips. It's fucking crazy. We just passed the real sick dog of the vlog and I missed it, so I'm just gonna reenact it. Dogs of the vlog. Called a race with Queen 10, honey. Dude, look at this chaos. This is us moving tables. I got a drug baggie of chips. It's not enough to contain this. This bag is not strong enough. I needed a double bag. Next big field event, if you want to try to re-enter, just hang out until people walk across, and then just ask someone for, for 50K out of their bag. Now, this is kind of fun, but this is crazy. But this, this is what it is in a giant field. Chip, awesome festa. There's a new way to tank, is to be in the back of the line. The stall for the bubble is to be the, la the last ones to do the walk. This table actually seems competent. Every, everyone's not that elderly and stuff. Like, but it's competent for this field is not is like we're fine. It's so hot in here, dude. Everyone's demoralized, even though we're playing for 10 billion X. I had to walk a mile. That was good for us, most of us. Most of us would die without that exercise. So post dinner break, we make some chips, we lose some chips, we have some laughs, we're annoyed at some people. We're nearing the bubble. We end up with 565k now, 11 times start stack, right as we make the money. We lose a little four big blind flip, ace king, doesn't matter. We ended up getting very lucky with jack five on a board of king, jack, six, five, ace, where we make about 90k with a suck out two pair. Hand for hand, who knows how they coordinate this? Who knows how many people re-entered in the walk from the hallway from the ballot valleys to Paris? Who knows how many of us are here on wandered money? Who knows who will snap OD when they get paid out? Look at that, I love the excitement, the energy. Everyone's rooting against some guy. Yeah, let's go bubble guy. Hand for hand continues. That's what you get for being vultures on that poor guy. Yeah. We lost five players. Fuck those five. Fuck those five. I don't care about the facts. This is the biggest day. Whatever. So we're in the money. First cash. As I said, at WSOP. So we're going to just focus for a while. Play poker. Listen to music. Actually think about what we're doing. Turn our brains back on. We've had enough fun, but the fun's over. We win a flip. We have footage of this. Where we have pocket sevens and we knock out our man CJ for less than 10 big blinds. 190K pickup. We now have 830K in our stack. Approaching the 10k 25k big blind level under the gun goes all in for four big blinds We have pocket nines and rejam for 710k 
I don't remember how many big blinds it is because ultimately it doesn't matter. It was around 25. But this young guy said he folded his can. Anyway, we flop quads, knock the guy out. Oh, oh, ole, ole, goodbye, goodbye. Good night, John Dead. We have doubled every break, but this one took two breaks, right? We had, the, we had 50 to start, 99 in the next, uh, 200 in the next, 400 in the next, then a little bit 400 in the next. Now we got 800 after knocking out. This guy says he folded his can. Sure did. So it's midnight. We got like, I don't know, three levels up, to, uh, whatever. 860K. We're going to have about under 30 big, so everyone's short, but this is our game. Yo, great run so far, whatever. Day long day, bag, blah, blah, gotta stay focused. And so we've been playing since 11 a.m. We have a couple more hours. We're tired. After up and down, up and down, we end up at 750K in our stack, and it's 20K, 40K with a 40K big blind Annie. The hijack raises to 80K. And we're on the button with a six of hearts we call the big blind calls as well so we're three ways to a flop with a six of hearts flop comes jack seven four two hearts one diamond the big blind donk leads 100k the hijack folds and we just jam for our 680 he tank folds and we win he said he just had a seven i don't fucking know we end up with 1.8 million I, I don't even remember how to fill in the blank between this pot maybe we're at 1 million up to 1.8 however here's the main event this hand where you don't even know how need to know how things escalate but we end up doing a flip with this nice lady ace king versus her queens go to the footage oh. yes let's fucking go sorry i should have warned you for your ears hey up 438 we win the flip we bagged 2.7 million, coming back in about three hours from now. Cause it's 2 a.m. We're back at 10 a.m. Not gonna sleep. Let's go. So big, the king on the river is so fucking degenerate. 2.735. Hell, that's a good bag. That's a good motherfucking bag. All right, we're back here in eight hours. After a sick day, I have no throat, no voice. But I'm a man of the people, so I help all the first time baggers learn how to bag. Let's fucking go. Let's go to bed. Let's go to bed, us. Day two, we played till 3 a.m., barely slept. Back at 10 a.m., let's fucking go. We're 31 of like 8.90 left. Yo, so we've learned our lesson from years past and we're just getting there too early instead of too late. Two on time. But so hype, I don't know the payouts. I'll update when I'm there. Let's warp there, as a matter of fact. Yo, we made it, let's go. So we won that really big flip. They're all big flips when it's this turbo and the stacks are short. Calling a scary rejam. We have to call, but he had folded king queen, blind versus blind, and so I was a little sketch of what he'd be rejamming. 1.1 million. We win the flip with eights and hold. Let's fucking go up. Big blinds now two starting stacks, two people's hopes and dreams is just in one big blind. Everyone's short. It's a turbo flip, flip fest. So play is underway. We fold through the blinds once. When a five big blind stack of 325k goes all in from the tiger blood, and we look down at ace queen off in the cump blaster, we re jam. Our opponent has ace eight, he hits an eight, all good. You know what I mean? It's fine. We can afford to lose these. So maybe that's poker god reparations for yelling in their ears before. Again, we can afford this. We can afford to, to give up these doubles to these little guys. We gotta win the massive ones. You know, all wins, right? You know, some shit like this. So up to the poker gods, really, guys. 684 people now remain, and the blinds are up 40 minutes in. The 40, 80, with the 80K big blind Annie. So we now have 25 big blinds. We have a little pot where we raise King 8 suited from early position to 160K. The big blind, Brandon Cantu, and I didn't know it was him until the end of the day, defends the big blind. The flop comes, King 6, 2, rainbow. He checks. We bet 100K. He folds. We have 2.1 million. All these pots count when you have 25 bigs. Another hand, still at 40, 80, 80. We raise pocket 8s from middle position 160 big blind calls we're heads up to a flop of queen 72 rainbow he checks we bet small again 110k he folds so we're floating around you know what i'm saying now we got two point whatever 2.3 things are okay um then one or two hands later we get pocket eights again we're under the gun plus one now we look down in pocket eight we raise to 160k and a guy in the shark death jams 1.1 million this is only a 14 big blind rejam and normally a call this guy had an earlier folded king queen suit when the small blind shoved on him for less than 20 bigs and he, like he showed the king queen suited as he's folding and i so i almost folded but i was like yo i just can't under 15 um and you know dj and yolo gotta play our game it's still a massive field we gotta win our all ins maybe we can't miss the spot he, if he has worse pairs and we fold catastrophe we got we just gotta do it bro so we grab our nutsacks 
call. He has ace king. Let's hold and win a massive flip for about half our stack. Shortly into returning from action from break, folds around to the small blind. He limps off of his eight big blind stack. We're in the big blind, obviously. We look down at jack eight suited. We jam. We just think he's gonna fold everything. And even if he calls, maybe we're not, we're not that fucked because he might he might call with ace x, whatever. But uh, he calls with aces. Uh, <laughs> we lose. We just got wrecked by the troll. Yes, uh, I he, just called, he went all in. Actually, I didn't. Of course, I snapped call with aces because he's the pro and I'm scared to go all in even with aces, but I have to. And then <laughs> I win, of course. <laughs> I'll concur with his analysis. So we're down to 1.6 million now, or 13 big blinds. And guys, this is just a foot fest. This is a D-Gen shit zoo. It's, this, is what we, this is what we live for. It's all good. So it's an orbit later now, and we have 12 big blinds because of the big blind Annie. And it folds again to the small blind. We've now doubled them up twice. And now he has us covered. And he goes all in. And we're in the big blind with 12 big blinds. We look down at king nine off. And I've been debating with friends if I need to call or not here. And online, it's always a call because everyone's way better online. Everyone's alive. Everyone sucks. It may not be a call live. And I was thinking this in game. Like, I don't know how wide this guy's jamming. But I just remembered the advice D Laz and Tim Riley both said to me on break. Like, yo, just chill. Probably going to bust. Just play your fucking game and relax. So I'm like, yo, um, this is a call. Like, what am I, what am I, what am I doing here? You know, when you're all in. Turns out he has ace jack. And we end up busting in 322nd place for three. So there's footage. All right, let's win the flip. King or nine? Come on, come on. You get so me. I win again. We're waiting for a payout. We have no clue how much we made, but we got 333 place. Somehow we finished in the final like two percent of the field, and we have no clue how much it's going to be for. This is a mystery bounty. She it's could tell 3680. us. Thirty-six eighty. Thirty-six eighty. Yes. Let's go. Thirty-six eighty is the current payout. If you're curious. They escorted me out of the room just because I was yelling for uh, yelling what the current payout was, so everyone knows. I'm glad we got on the board in the first week here. Now we go home for our friend's wedding, and we'll be back in a couple of days, maybe the rest of the day, to try to win the skateboard prop pet. So. I'm a genius. It's the last day of this week here at Punter's Pad, and we are in horrible shape to win this prop bet to Ollie over this bucket. So one of the schemey cameramen, a schemey Australian named Brando, said, hey, the bet was just that you had to jump over it, right? He didn't say from how high you needed to Ollie over it, right? Implying that we could maneuver it a little bit. Now, if this was against anybody primarily other than Rob, I wouldn't do this. But thanks to Schemey Brando behind the scenes at a punter's pad, thanks to America's card room. I have this genius fraudulent scheme. So this is the setup, Scheme City. Hopefully I can still do it. Watch I fucking break my leg. Now he doesn't deserve any applause. He called with King Jack.